Let's turn our attention now to what is going on at the State House with our lawmakers. And more than 11% of high school students report they have used e-cigarettes. That's according to a 2021 National Youth Tobacco Survey. A new bill would limit nicotine sales to minors. News 19's Becky Buds is at the State House with the very latest on this new proposal. Becky. At Illuminati Vape Shop in Columbia, the owner tells me every customer's ID is checked when they walk through the door. If they're underage, we don't sell to them. Despite age requirements posted inside and outside his business, owner Andrew Bagley says he's constantly turning minors away. More often than not, they it's with a, an underage ID or no ID. With teen vaping on the rise, South Carolina lawmakers are looking at ways to limit nicotine sales to minors. A bill sponsored by Senator Brad Hutto would require tobacco sellers to get a state license, similar to a liquor license. The license would cost $500 a year to cover the cost of regulation and enforcement. The proposal also makes businesses liable for illegal sales, increases the fines for violations, and strips retailers of the right to sell tobacco products if they're caught too many times selling them to minors. I'm not going to tolerate adults giving nicotine to children even if the kids sneak on a beard and pretend to be 84. <laughs> A similar bill was proposed in the House last year, but died after opposition from convenience store owners. While Bagley opposes the extra fee, he supports tougher penalties on illegal sales. That's going to cut out probably 95 plus percent of minors getting vapes. And if we do that, then we can see where the, the next leak is and plug that hole. Minors who violate the law would be fined $25 and may be required to take a tobacco prevention program. Thursday's discussion comes as a bill banning local restrictions on nicotine sales awaits debate on the Senate floor. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, South Carolina is one of just 10 states that does not license our tobacco sellers here, and that's according to the National Lung Association.